Pearl. Hi, Hi buddies, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Kelly Prepster Studio. My name is Kelly, and John's here. What's up, and everyone? Little Burrow's in the back. He's in his car seat. We are in the car. This is a different location for us, but yeah. we are driving two and a half hours away to get a bead kit that I found on Facebook Marketplace. Craziness. <laughs> so we thought we could vlog and bring you guys along with us. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I'm so excited. This is very different for it's us. Very different. But I think it's gonna be fun. And don't forget to use our hashtag Bead Buddies in the comments down below because at the end of every video I do a comment of the day shout out. And I'd love to pick your comment. But we are currently at the pet store, and we thought we could bring little Burrow in and go get him a new toy for the car ride because he's gonna be a trooper being here with he's us. He's on the road trip with us. <laughs> and also, if you guys want to see more videos like this, let us know in the comments below. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro, do you like all these toys? I'm trying to find a spooky one. <laughs> you want to see this one? <laughs> Let's get this one for you. Uh, you mind this one? Oh, I think he likes this one. <laughs> Do you love your new toy? <gasps> Did you get a new toy? Your new toy? Oh, he's cuddling it. All right, feet buddies, we are almost into Indianapolis. It's been about two hours so far into our road trip. John is a great driver. The sun's kind of popping out, which is super nice. And we're so excited. We're gonna message the seller on Facebook soon and we're gonna meet up. I'm so excited. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it is a good bead kit. I'm excited. You guys, we got, got the beads. It's I'm secured. so excited. John put it into the trunk of the car. There looks like there's so many beads, doesn't it's it? It's a lot of beads. He has like two handles and some. It's in the trunk, so we're gonna do an unboxing when we get home. Little Burrow is still passed out. We stopped at a Starbucks for a restroom break and we took Burrow out for a little walk in their grass and then we're like, we probably should leave. So we are headed home. We might stop and get some dinner, but the sun is finally setting. So we have another two hour drive to go back home, but I think it was well worth it. Oh, it was so worth it. I'm so excited for this haul. I'm so excited. So the haul will really be the determining factor if we got our money's worth. <laughs> the next day. Okay, Bee Buddies, it is the next day. I am back home, and last night we got home around 10 p.m. It was four hours on the road. Burrow did so good, but once we got home, we were kind of like, I'm done. I'm ready to go to sleep. But you guys, I think she included more stuff than I originally thought was in the kit. I can't wait to unbox it with you guys, so let's go over to my desk, and I'm going to show you guys everything I got in my Facebook Marketplace haul. So these are the three kits that I got. They are ginormous. Like, let me put my Stanley next to one for size comparison. I don't know you guys, it's huge. This is the one that I'm most excited about, but I love, love, love this container. I've seen this before at craft stores and I've never purchased it, but I'm so excited to unbox it. I got all of this stuff for a hundred dollars because it was initially 80 and then she's like, I'll throw in this bin with a few other things for a hundred. So I paid a hundred dollars for everything, but once I show you guys the haul, let me know in the comments down below if you think I got my money's worth because I felt like I got so many new beads, so many new strings, some tools, just Stuff I probably wouldn't have bought on my own, which I feel like makes it so unique. So let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to use our hashtag bead buddies in the comments as well. And if you're watching this far and haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button and let's open this up. I know you guys are dying to see it. So starting off, let's start off with a super, like kind of like the size of a sandwich tableware. It's green. I didn't know it came in this kit, but I thought it was super cute. And it just opens up like that. And this little tray comes off and there are some like Halloween clay beads, which I think are super so cute. There's not very many of them, but honestly, it looks like a good size. And then there's this. So these are like little pearler beads, I guess. They're kind of like acrylic, but they're just like Halloween colors. And then this is what I'm most intrigued by. I've never seen this before. And they are like 
white elastic sorry i was out of frame looks like a lot of it but it's such a unique packaging i've never seen this before i thought it was so cute so cool so white elastic and then there's also a black one which is kind of fun for halloween oh and i didn't gotta show you guys i'm so scared i'm gonna spill all of this stuff so again it comes like this and then this comes out I don't know, I just feel like this is so unique. Here's the brand, if you're able to see that on the side of the wheel. Super cool. Again, I have no idea where these are from. Oh gosh. This was a Facebook Marketplace fine. So it was kind of like buying it like at a yard sale or something if you never shopped at Facebook Marketplace. But that was everything in here. Then let's open up this guy. So this says it is a creative option, small rack system. And it has a handle. I think this would be really nice if you're traveling or like making bracelets on the go. And it opens up like this. Kind of reminds me of like my dad's fishing stuff. I don't want it like if you guys remember that when you're little. So this is what the inside looks like. I haven't really touched too much of this. But we have some bead needles. I don't know. Jewelry tools is what it says on the top. It looks like it's from Hobby Lobby or Joann's or something. But we have some new beading needles. This is the one that was kind of opened up. Then this is what I really am so excited about. I was just talking about needing some of this. This is silver beading wild. And I believe this is how you make those super cute seed bead necklaces. They also have gold beading wire. I'm telling you guys, I feel like I hit jackpot. We have some little angel charms. They're not all there, but they're super cute. We have some more wire this black wire i believe this is like an earring kit again i'm not really sure what this is because there's no label on it but i've seen this at hobby lobby before but then there's just some miscellaneous beads and a cork but you know we're just gonna put it back in here i'm excited i need your guys's opinion should i put this stuff in my desk how i like it should i keep it in here should i add it to my drawers i don't know so that is everything in the top part and i think you just like that and then this opens up i thought this was so cool and so there's four little containers in here i didn't do any of this this is how it came and these are glass pearl beads they're really heavy they're kind of a unique color combo like i don't know if i would have bought this green color but it's super pretty then in here there's like little i don't even know what those are super tiny seed bead type things and then this side has like another color of them but super cool i think you could definitely make like a lot of bracelets with these and again i love the organization of it those are the colors then this one's my favorite it's got all the letter beads so there's like block chunky colored letters a circle colorful letters and then these i think are the hello hobby from walmart that i love using i do love alphabetizing my beads so this is definitely different for me but there's definitely a huge variety i've never had this many different types of letter beads then this one is super organized so back here i don't know if you guys can see that are some charms these are all seed beads and then these are some like gold and silver little geometric charms but where did this lady get this organization because it's so cute like look how cute this is i need to like up my organization game on my beads like she has them all color coded and such i don't know i just think this is the cutest thing i've ever seen and i really need to step up my organization and then the last drawer in this one is kind of miscellaneous i don't know if you guys can see that i do organize all my beads by color and stuff so this throws me off a little bit but i love the containers we have some little black seed beads in this little teeny tiny container and a little mini red seed bead. Again, I don't think I have string that's thin enough for that, but I'll have to figure it out. And then I love these little silver like spacer beads that are in here. They're so cute. Let me turn it over so you guys can see everything like that. I don't know. I just feel like I got a good deal for all of this. So that is everything that is in this super fun storage chest. And then this guy. So it didn't come with everything that came in here, but this is a 19 quart box full of beads. I am shook. So it opens up like this. This is what the top looks like. And again, shout out to this lady. She has the cutest little storage containers in here. And then this pulls out and there's so much stuff in here, but we need to go through the top first. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this down because it is quite tall for where I'm sitting. And the first thing in here that I saw are these really unique looking beads. I've never seen these before. And it just twists off. I want to make sure this is in focus for you guys. But they're really cool looking. 
I don't know. I'm getting like tropical island vacation charms. Then I've seen these before at a craft store. They're like a pastel color letter bead. I think they're super cute. Oh my gosh, there are so many of them in there. Aren't those colors just so beautiful? And again, she has the cutest organization. I don't know why she was getting rid of her collection. I didn't ask. Then in here was this huge bag of Aloha flowers that I have. I also have one of these. It's in my storage cubes over there. But these are so perfect. These are some of my favorite clay beads. Then you guys know I'm on my bead buddy journey where I use my four millimeter letter beads. Guys, this whole thing has little letter beads in here and they're like black and white which is so cool because i don't have anything like this now i definitely am gonna have to organize these or like dump them out to sort them but there are so many in here i think these are gonna be great for my bead buddy bracelet and then we also have a ton of this like elastic so this is diy stretch cord we have a clear and silver and then we have a similar one stretch cord but it's kind of like I don't know, different colors. There is a knot tutorial on the back, which is kind of cool. And then there's some elastic cord from the brand Hello Hobby and all of these fun different colors. So there's green, rainbow, orange, rainbow, and silver. This honestly kind of gives me like back in the day ponytail vibes. I don't know. They're gonna be super tiny, super tiny. These are so tiny, they're so cute. Little tools, I believe this is like for bending the wire and then this is like just a regular flat nose plier. No idea what this is for, none. <laughs> but I, I, I don't know, maybe again for the wire wrapping. It does say something on it, it says bead reamer. I, I don't know, it came with it. Then we have a little dish of colorful clay beads. There's tons of these. We have some more elastic, some black and white simple little round letters, and this super cute dish. And you guys, my favorite thing about these yellow ones is they have little handles. <laughs> this is not the cutest thing you've seen. Then this is, I think, what the holy moly jackpot of the whole thing is. It is a little dish, and it's really heavy. They're like a metal charm. I don't know. I just feel like this is going to be so cute for my stacker bracelets and then lastly in here are these like wooden colorful beads they don't really weigh much they're super tiny but super cute again probably something i wouldn't personally buy and then there's tons of beads scattered throughout so i think just like leftover beads in here we have a little bag of spacers this is that random little tool i was telling you guys about super cute and so i've been trying to keep it organized that way i can show you guys I think that's how it was now moving on to this i'm so excited so as you guys can kind of see this has a lot of kits in it this is one of the things that sold me on the facebook picture was the bead board i thought this was going to be as big as mine it's very tiny let me go get mine to show you a size comparison i definitely think it'll still be able to be useful but look at the size so this is the one i bought from hobby lobby i believe it's five dollars this is the one i got i still think it'll be super helpful and useful it's just so much tinier but honestly i kind of like it for this condensed space saving aspect of it then let's start off with all the big kits in here we have this like rock beachy shell kit and i love it because it's colorful but it also has some neutral shells i don't think i ever made any shell necklaces last summer so i'm super excited to have some then we have some glass pearl beads and this looks barely touched you guys i am so excited i think they've worked a lot with neutral colors based on some of the colors in this but i'm seeing this pink and purple completely full which i'm so excited about this one must have gotten mixed up a little bit, but it says Glass Seed Beads Assortment Bolt Pack, and it's by Cousin DIY. I don't know where this is sold, but there's lots of neutral colors in here, very black, white, and gray. They're super tiny, but they are very pretty, and do you guys see the seed beads in there? I mean, the clay beads in there. This is another glass bead kit that is super colorful, and these are some of my favorites. I love this neon orange. I wish there was a tag on here because I have no idea where this is from. I've never seen this before, but I love them. They're very pretty, and I'm just digging this, like, neon orange. So beautiful. Okay, you guys are going to laugh. You've seen this on my channel before. This is the Hobby Lobby's glass bead kit. I make tons of bracelets on it. This one's just mixed up, but you guys might recognize it. It's got, like, the cotton candy ones on it. They're so beautiful. So I know for a fact this is $8.99 at Hobby Lobby. So I definitely do think we're getting some of our money's worth because 
this is the same Hobby Lobby kit. I've had this before as well for $8.99. They just kind of added spacers and I don't think they used every single color. Like I use this one all the time and I have it sitting right over here. I have to show it to you guys. This is the one that you guys saw in a previous video. I literally used every single bead out of it. Then I think we have two more trays. We have another like rocky gemstone looking one. Again, I don't know if I'll like these, but I've never used them before, but they're just kind of like those flat triangle type beads. I think they can be really pretty. I've just never experimented with them. And then the last big tray out of here is this like spacer tray. So it has silver gold, rose gold, and more of like a muted yellow gold. And it's got like little circle spacers, geometric, round spacers, stars, hearts, and these like super cute little circle ones. I definitely think this was a deal, you guys. Then she has these little containers that have one color of clay beads in it. So we have navy, gray, and like a dark blue. And these containers are so cute. Look how cute they are. And you can like stack them up so they like twist on and off. Oh my gosh, isn't that so cute? So we have the blues. We have black, brown, and yellow. I'm trying to make this so you guys can see them all. Like a dark brown, an orangish brown, and a white. Lots of like neutral colors. So then we have tan, gray, and like a yellowy brown. Gray, that greenish color, and like a salmon-y. Oh my gosh, there's so many, you guys. We have dark green, peach, and like a lighter green, and then a pink peach, a blue and like a cream okay i think those are all for the cute containers let me show them to you oh my gosh i just love these and if you really wanted to you could stack them all up together personally if i keep it in here i probably won't do that but so many clay beads and then you guys there's so much more in here then these are my favorite they are seed bead mixtures so you know like when i put beads into my bead spinner and empty them out it was like someone's already pre-mixed mix and they're so cute so this one's like a red white and blue then we have this gorgeous pink and black combo i think these are so cute and again i love the little containers and then this one might be one of my faves as well it's like a blue oceany i'm getting summertime mix then we have tons more of the clay beads that we saw earlier the rainbow mix oh, there's still some more of those then we have this super cute i'm getting like fruit punch springtime color pattern so cute. I'm so excited to put these in my bead spinner. Then we have this one that kind of reminds me of like Mardi Gras. I don't know. I just get like fun colors. It also reminds me of like a football team. And then these super cute purple mixtures. I think they're the exact same. Then we have these two things, which I have never seen anything like this, you guys. And this just has all the different color spacers. I'm trying to get it to focus. There we go. Oh my gosh. And then this one has random stuff in it. So we have spacers, like these plasticky beads, silver letters, gold letters, white, and then these like little chunky square beads. And I think you could stack. Nope, you can't stack those together. And then lastly are these two square kits. So this is some more pearls. They're like more neutrally hues, but they're definitely like glass beaded pearls. Again, super cute little container. And then these are acrylic. They're just not as heavy, but they're kind of like tie-dye beads. So cute and colorful, and they stack up so nicely. So that is everything that I got in my Facebook Marketplace haul. Do you guys think it was worth $100? Do you think it was worth driving 300 miles, two hours there and two hours back? Because I think it was so worth it. I can't wait to start creating and making some jewelry with these pieces. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. Join our Bead Buddies family. Don't forget to use our hashtag Bead Buddies in the comments down below at the end of every video I do a comment of the day shout out so here is today's comment of the day thank you so much for leaving such a positive and kind comment it seriously means the world to me if you guys want to see more videos that are different and like this let me know give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys back here very soon with another new YouTube video bye bee buddies